Hello, and welcome to episode 7 of an unexpected vidcast. I'm Pashbo Proudfeet. And I'm Ruby Ray. Let's kick things off with some community news. Hello, Chumley of Laurelin here, and welcome to another Community News. As regular as clockwork, the Green Dragon Inn in Bywater is the place to be on a Friday night between 8pm and 10pm or 3pm server time. Here, you'll be treated to an evening of fine music and great poems. Although the Green Dragon prefers hobbits, there's always room at the bar for the odd travelling dwarf, or the even more odd big folk. At the end of the evening, celebrations rounded off with a firework display quite unlike any I have witnessed before. Maybe even surpassing that annual anniversary display I've heard so much about from Bree Town. But I don't get about much, you know. Anyways, I would definitely recommend you get yourself down to the Green Dragon on the Lorning server on a Friday night. You won't be disappointed. Anyway, that's it for me from now. Bye bye! Welcome to the Lotro Store News! This week's free sample is Regeneration Food times 5. Use coupon code REG56. Sales wise, we have 20% of the expansions of Rohan. Moria, Mirkwood and Isengard. If you want to boost your XP, 100% XP boost tomes, enhanced XP supply and the Outriders token are also 20% off. And welcome to Lotrication, 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 where we take you on a tour of what's available to you within the Lotro housing market. I'm Pichodo, and this is my fair hobbit friend, Valentina. Today we will be looking around a decorated house here in the Mickle Delvin homesteads as well as looking at local facilities available, an empty house on the market, and enjoying the fine views. Hello Andy, do you have any houses for sale? Yes. Can we go in the neighbourhood and have a look round? Uh, yes. The Mickle Delving Homesteads are set in the most beautiful of surroundings. An ideal place to sit and smoke your pipe in between meals. Who couldn't be taken in by this stunning waterfall? Let's have a look at the sort of house you can buy for your money and how it can be decorated. has been decorated with a large flower bed. Oh, such beautiful flowers. And in the corner we have a mossy wicker chair. 
It looks like it has been left out in the weather for a few seasons too long, but it is still very comfortable. Inside this deluxe house, there is plenty of space to invite all your Hobbit friends. As you would expect, it's all on one level. This bedroom is done out in an elven design. The red canopy bed and the small tree shadow rug was made especially by a fine craftsman. There is a small room also that shows that our homeowner not only enjoys travelling but is also a keen hunter. Far more keen than I am. This just makes me want to run away. Demet's Brentwood Bookshelf is available from Rolf Bracegirdle, the housing furnisher in the Homestead Provisions building. Eek! Oh, looks like this building has a few mice! I really like the use of maps that we find on some walls. These are available from each of the festivals and count towards special deeds. So, what else is available to us in the Mickledalving homesteads? There are currently quite a number of empty properties, such as this two-room, one-chest standard house. Let's go and have a look inside. This house comes with a fireplace in room one, and as you can see, quite a bit of space too. Just perfect if you are unfortunate enough to have a party of dwarves arrive on your doorstep. The second room would make an ideal bedroom. So I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Mickledalving homesteads. I could certainly settle here myself. Join us next time when we will be looking at the houses in the dwarf homesteads. Cheerio and stay safe. We are off for second breakfast. Bye bye. Hello, and welcome back to Later at the Ivy Bush. And tonight we've got the A Miners of Gilrain. There is a house in Erwidloen, built deep beneath the stone. And Disagrees to me, I call it home. The myth can't be found there, it's still like treasure to me. You can keep your mickle delving Your calendar or breathe The sunlight so overrated I much prefer But do not dig much deeper I need not a bog There is a house in Eridluen Built deep beneath the ground And it's the 
perfect dwelling place It's so far I have found Thank you very much If you are a band or musician from any server and you'd like to be featured on Later at the Ivy Bush please email us on the address at the bottom of the screen. <laughs>